Yo guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we are starting a new series that I have sort of come up with but sort of haven't with Dragon Ball Kakarot. Alright, so today I'm starting a what if series on this game. It's kind of been a series towards, you know, the Dragon Ball community already, but I'm just putting it into game form, you know what I mean? <laughs> we are starting the series, what's known as Goku being born with divine energy or god key if you will. So we got Kakarot here with mods of course, you know, we had to, we had to throw in a little extra spice, you know? We're gonna get to that Gohan, alright? <laughs> I have already gone and achieved Super Saiyan God for Goku in the downloadable content. Of course, Goku and Vegeta I put both at level 250 because, well, you need uh, auto Super Saiyan God to make this somewhat of a reality. And at the same time, you know, if they started off in Saiyan Saga with Divine Key, I mean, come on now. We, we all know where they'd be at. So I wanted to achieve uh, Auto Super Saiyan God for them. And Gohan, I put him 126 because, I mean, Goku's son, he's got to be at least relatively stronger. He's got to be at least relatively stronger than most, you know. He's a child, but if Goku was born with Divine Key, surely Gohan would carry that sediment, of course. Just make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Hit the notification bell. Discord linked in the description. All right, so right now, I'm after the events of Raditz. Yeah, I probably should have recorded that bit, but I'll, but I mean, like, you guys would have known what would have happened. So, I, I feel like this would tie better if we made it to the Nappa and Vegeta part of Saiyan Saga. Yajirobe. Okay, what's this man sensing? You know what would have been great for the series? If I was able to get Piccolo up. Oh, level 57. Besides, the series mainly focuses on Goku and Vegeta being born with Divine Key anyway. It's not like Piccolo would be affected by that significantly, genetic-wise. We gotta get through all of this. Hmm. <laughs> Time to steamroll these guys. <laughs> That's so disrespectful. Did I just backhand him? Okay, Tien Pretty sure Yamcha is down here in the swamp. Wherever he just went. Look at him. In my opinion, should he have even been training for the Saiyans to show up? I mean, we all saw what happened here. He legit joined the battle, went against the Cybermen just to die. I mean, I low-key feel bad. Look at him, training his butt off just to, <laughs> just to die. <laughs> just skip this part. Let's just one tap him out of here. There we go. Okay, pretty sure Krillin is who's next. In all honesty, I really shouldn't have gotten Piccolo's power up, but at the same time, there's no harm. そう<笑> Okay, let's continue on with this story. Put Gohan's training to the test. Well, Gohan's like 126, so this is about to be another quick battle. Uh, this series mainly focuses on Goku and Vegeta, so I'm trying to steamroll these as fast as possible. Mainly focus on their fights. It's also why I'm skipping monologue, too. I mean, I don't want to bore you guys. Goku just made it to King Kai's place. Oh, 
<laughs> King Kai as he lives and breathes. Oh Lord. <laughs> Straight to business. Here we go. And there we go. <laughs> oh my gosh. Why was she just out here all by herself? Easy freaking peasy, I guess. If Goku's gonna be born with Divine Key, obviously that's gotta show some sort of superior strength in Gohan as well. You know? He wants another backhand. Or at least another kick. <laughs> oh no, that was a punch. いや。ご飯。here we go. Bro thought he had it. He thought he had it. If Yamcha was a main character, I would have done if Yamcha was born with Divine Keys. You know, if he wasn't a support and you could actually, like, play as him, I already know the mods would have gone crazy. Time to go, big guy. <laughs> Again, it only makes sense. Gohan's half, uh, half Saiyan, so... It only makes sense that because of his incredible potential... Oh lord. What kind of scream is that? <laughs> Goku's almost here. Now we can get this show on the road. I should have had... Oh, if only. I guess I should have added Piccolo having either his orange... Nah, orange form is for later on. But, and plus that's not divine, but having the Super Namekian God transformation from the start, that would have been pretty sick. But, who knows, maybe I'll add it in. Maybe I'll add it in. Screw it, why not? Alright, Nappa, time to go. The graphics for this game are so beautiful, man. Developers did an incredible job. I mean, I know I'm watching Piccolo die, <laughs> but still, I mean, look at that, bro. Look at that. Whew. These graphics are something special to look at. They're breathtaking. Mr. Popo! Mr. Popo! I know Goku's at 250, but I mean, I already knew this was the beginning was gonna be easy. In order to make it realistic, I had to get Goku and Vegeta to level 250. 
That way they can get auto Super Saiyan God. It only makes sense that if they're born with Divine Key, they can transform to Super Saiyan God off of it. Th that was a random freaking boulder. A uh, mountain that just exploded. See? Look, look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Come on. It's only canon that it's this way. Whoa, okay. Let's just toy with him a little bit. There we go. Thing is, I fought Raditz in base form. And I kind of left that part out, but this mechanically makes sense. Goku's Ultra Instinct transformation is available. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it's not time for that yet. <laughs> Implying that if we're in Saiyan Saga, Super Saiyan God should be the should be the max that he knows. By the time Frieza Saga shows up and you know Goku becomes a Super Saiyan, yada yada yada. At that point, I believe he should have learned Super Saiyan Blue by then. But Ultra Instinct this early on, come on. Are we trying to make these guys OP? Again, if I could make Vegeta utilize Super Saiyan God as well against me, if it was possible, I would have done so. Unfortunately, I can't. Here we go. Whoa, I didn't transform. What? It's not activating. Oh, that's crazy. That's crazy. It didn't activate. What, what, what's going on? Here we go with the graphics again. Look at this beauty. Oh my gosh. The Kamehameha forming. The Kaioken. Earth splitting Gala gun. Sent to almost oblivion. <laughs> it would have been so cool if they buffed up Goku's body because that's what it le legit looked like in the anime. Uh, oh, oh, <laughs> just showed up out of nowhere. <laughs> In a way, it looked like his own spirit bomb. Still looks like its own spirit bomb. Oh lord. Here we go, there we go. Oh shoot. Now this is canically correct. That's illegal. The key blast. <gasps> wow. <laughs> A small low key. Hey, you know, technically that is canically correct. I'm not skipping this part mainly because I know it's about to happen here.
Here we go. It begins. Gotcha, boy. Gotcha, boy. Oh, my gosh. Okay, now it just got uncannically accurate. <laughs> Krillin's destructive. Does. Should we increase Krillin? Nah, let's not be generous to this man. Goodbye, man. <laughs> Mechanically accurate. <laughs> I mean, Gohan not being able to utilize Super Saiyan God makes sense against Vegeta, who just is deciding not to use it, I guess. We're just gonna go with that. <laughs> Glitch in the Matrix. Rasengan! Oh, you got caught lacking. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> That is a throwable Rasengan right there. Begins. The legendary Super Saiyan God. That's gonna be the end of the video, guys. We're gonna pick this up with Frieza Saga next up. So you guys stay tuned for that. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Hit the notification bell. Discord linked in the description. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys in the next video. God bless. You can't even show me up. I can't even open up. Bitch, you not